Howdy, folks. I got about 20 minutes or so, maybe 30 if I really push it, before I got to be to work. And I kind of ran out of things that I was doing, so I figured I'd make a quick stop at this little creek that I've been here once before on the side of the road. And we're going to try to catch some fish. So it's going to be kind of loud and noisy, but maybe we can catch something. And uh, let's get to it. All right, so I've got my ultralight with me, my little blue one with the reel from my buddy Jacob, and I've tied on just a tiny little crankbait. It's all I've got with me, and it doesn't dive super deep. This water's pretty shallow. So as long as I can avoid snakes, I think I'll do pretty all right. I know there's some little bass in here and uh, some sunfish. Both will take this. So, I can see some little fish swimming around here. See some turtles. Let's uh, make a cast. Oop. Something bit at it like immediately. It's not quite swimming right though. What is wrong with it? It's, it's laying on its side. Maybe I need to adjust the nose. Maybe it doesn't like coming in at an angle like that. I don't know, my nose looks a little bent. On these crankbaits, if your nose is off center, yep, looking down at it, this one is, it's not gonna swim right. <clears throat> Unfortunately, these tiny ones, little adjustments make a big difference. There we go, it's going a little better now. It's coming straight at the shore though. I think I over adjusted. This is the difficult part. We gotta sit and fine tune it. Which is not something I wanted to sit here and do. There we go. Oop, and there's a fish. Ha! Little bass. See? Get it swimming right. And the fish like it a lot more. Gah! He spiked me. At least it wasn't a hook. Come on. Barbs are no joke on these little hooks. There we go. But first fish. Little bitty largemouth. Let's see what else we can find in here. Let's unwrap. What the hell happened here? Fishing line is like headphone cables sometimes, man. I just don't understand what the hell it's doing. All right. Yep, that's the other bank. This is casting better than I expected it to because it's, it's a little bit windy and this is a real light lure. But I guess that's why we got it on the ultralight. There's a fish. Oh, he let go. Can't do like big hook sets with this thing either. You just got a little, little tiny ones. Ah, I didn't even, there was one on that. He didn't even know it. Maybe he was chasing it. I, I don't know. Oh, hello ducks. Um, there might be a nest around here. I gotta watch my footing a little more now. That was a bite. Problem is, I need one to have a big enough mouth that he could actually eat the hooks. coming for it they're missing I can I can see flashes in the water of them coming after it interesting real dirty spot over here
Oh yeah. There we go. That's a nice looking one. Look at that. This is a real nice long ear sunfish. That one out. Get a hold of this one, whatever. Grab that. There we go. That is, that's good fish. Nice colors. Oh, my line's wrapped around my camera. All right, well, I'm gonna throw him back and figure this out. That's what I was looking for. And also, like I suspected, got a uh, duck nest right down in there. One, two, three, four, five. Seven eggs. Okay. Watch my step. Try to kind of stay away from that. I know she won't be coming back as long as I'm here, but I won't be here for too long. There's another one. Just a little bit smaller than the last one, but still a very nice long out, long ear. Stop it. I gotta get them still so that when I grab them, you gotta push their back spines down. Otherwise you're just gonna get stabbed. You got me pretty good right in the tip of my finger. It stings like a bitch. At least he didn't draw any blood. There's some nice sized sunfish right here. Now we're getting tiny fish. Well, I guess they don't have to be super big to uh, bite onto this. Long ear definitely seems to be the uh, dominant sunfish species in here. Which I don't mind, they're one of the real pretty ones. Long ear and pumpkin seeds are the prettiest ones as far as I'm concerned. Oop. Uh, need a little helping hand here, bud. Or just. Look, now you're in the mud. Just hold still. Hey. You're going the wrong way, damn it. All right. There we go. Gotta wash the mud off my rod now. And now my lure is caught up on my shirt. All right, no hooks in us yet today. Another one. Ooh. They're a nice size in here too. I'm honestly surprised at how many I've caught this size already. Normally you can, you know, get, you know, maybe two or three of these out of a creek for an entire day. Oop. God dang it. All right, that one figured it out himself. Another one. Maybe the, this one is, I think this is the biggest one. 
got a big old hump head. Look at that. Whoop. All right, we're just gonna, they're hard to hold on to sometimes, all right? Don't judge me. Let's check over to this side some more. Oh, I got a snag. Whoop. It was coming right in my face. One of the hazards of a uh, mono filament fishing line is it has stretch to it. So when that came unsnagged, it came flinging right at me. Luckily, I got my hand in front of it and it didn't stab into me. So still, no hooks in our hands. It doesn't seem to be quite as active. I think that was the bottom. Ha. I expected there to be at least a couple fish in here on this side. This part doesn't seem productive. It looks like it's all right next to that sewage spot. So I guess, uh, see if we can pull anything else out of there. Another big long ear. I'm somewhat curious if I'm catching the same couple fish over and over again, which doesn't make sense to me because normally they don't want to eat after they've just been caught. But I mean, I'm just in disbelief at the size of these fish that I'm pulling out of the exact same place. Move back this way. Maybe Mama Duck will come back now that we're gone. May just about do it. I'm gonna throw a couple casts here and then I'm gonna call it right back where we started. There we go. And another good size long ear. All right, well, maybe it wasn't the same fish over and over again because we're in a completely different area now. We're ow, stop it. We're probably about 30 yards 
from where we were catching those other ones. Alright. So I'm just gonna assume that big long ears live in here, which is I like it. Move on up this way, get a little further cast in there. Seen fish come swipe at it, then grab a hold though. And again, they were they were pretty all right. I'm gonna try running it faster, give them less chance to think. Really have to commit to it if they want to check it out. Not so much anymore, huh? What if I just bring it right across here? No. See him down there, messing with it. One of the downsides that's uh, not really downside, I mean, this is a nice little lure, but something I think that's hindering me a bit is that it floats and that I'm having to pull it up towards the surface as it gets closer because I'm up the hill a decent little ways. Because, like, I, if it could stay down deeper, it, it'd definitely be a little bit better. I have seen some nice fish coming up, messing with it. Oh, okay, cool, got it out. All right. I'm going to move down a little bit. A couple more casts, then I'm out of here. Luckily, Works only like 10 minutes away at most, so I can I can push the time a little bit. Just gotta find a good spot to stand and cast. Looks like I might have it right here. It kind of flattens out for me. something. Ooh, what do we got here? This is our third species for the day. This is a green sunfish. Yeah. A green sunfish are not the kind you want when uh, you're trying to propagate bass. Let me see if I can get this damn hook out. Come on now. There we go. So you can see... Oh, don't you flop out. I need to talk about you. They have a much larger mouth. You see, I can actually stick my thumb in it and hold them that way. And they eat a lot of the stuff that younger bass will too. But they're pretty fish. I always like their little orange dorsals down here. Or, no, dorsal on top. 
whatever their bottom fins are. I like those being orange. All right. I would like to catch another large mount. That would be cool. Maybe one a little bit bigger. That first one was pretty pathetic. Um, let's cast to the left. Throw a couple over here. Oh, something went at it the second it hit the water. Something feels off. Yeah, it all looks good. I think it was another green. Nope. That's what it is. My line got wrapped up down here on the bale. The fish aren't necessarily over on this side, it seems like. It's like they're further up. See him down there looking at it. See if I can get one to bite. Oop, there we go. Not a large mouth. Oh, I think I foul hooked him. Yeah, he missed it and I foul hooked him. A little bit bigger than our first one. Stop. You're, you're making this worse on you. Stop it. Let me get the one out of out of your actual meat here first. Got that in there good. There we go. Hold on, let me don't don't. I gotta You're making this difficult. All right, now I'm making it difficult. He's not hooked in there real well. It's just, it's, well, maybe it's better than I thought. Uh-oh, now he's got more hooks in him. No, they didn't go in yet. There. We've had him out a little bit, so just a quick look. All right, well, I got a second large mouth. I know there's more fish over here. I synced them. Something's wrong again. Line's wrapped up around here. There we go. Hoota! Oh. Okay. The uh, the sunfish are bedding. Maybe that's why there's so many large ones around. So, let's see if I can. If you look down in the water, I don't know how well you can see through this, but you can see the little circles all up in there. Those are sunfish beds. I don't see any fish. Yeah, there's one. Ah, ha All right, this is gonna be my last fish. It's another green sunfish. About the same size. They can get bigger than this though, and they look a lot more bass-like. But largemouth bass are technically a type of sunfish. Which is why you can see the similarity between them and these ones. But that's it. That's our last fish. All right, well, I'd call that pretty successful for just a spur of the moment, last minute little stop. And let's see what time it is. Jeep's taking forever to load the time.
239. All right, perfect. Work starts at 3. So, uh, catch y'all later. Thanks for stopping by.